So this is going to be the base of the heart, right where all of the big major blood vessels end. Stop. Apex. Yes, I know. I have the list. And then, looking from the bottom down here, this is the apex right here of the heart. And now we have to open it up because we have to do the layers. So I'll start here. The epicardium is around because remember epi means around. So it's going to be the very outside layer right here. And then we go to the myocardium. And myo means muscle. So Which is the right and which is the left side? I'll get to that. We don't have to know that yet. I will get to it. This is the myocardium because this is the big muscle portion. And then we have the endocardium, which is going to be the innermost layer all around here. So all of this innermost layer. And then we have the right and left. So now if you're looking at the heart, look at it. So these vessels are going to go towards the back. So on the person, it would be this way. So this is going to be how it would look in the body. So this is going to be the right. What's that called when it's on the person, when they're lying on that table? What is that position called? Anatomical, Anatomical position. position. There we go. All right. Let's be nurses for <laughs> so a moment. So if you look at it this way, this is going to be the left and this is going to be the right. Open it up. And so then when you open it up this way, you're going to see that this is the right side. No, can you like leave it on your body while you open it? And <laughs> Sounds really creepy. But <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So if you open it up, this is going to be the right. And no. This going, yes, this is the right and this is the left. Yes, right? but this left. whole half is the right half. Correct. I don't look at it that way. I just look at it like if you have it here, this is the right side, this is the left side. So okay. when you open it up, this is the right, so these two are the right sides, yeah. and these two are the left sides. Yes, so now, yes. When I'm going to put this out, and we're just going to do this side. So now, looking at the left and right atrium, these both right here are going to be the left atrium. It circles just right around here, right until where the valves are. So this is going to be the left atrium, and this is going to be the right atrium, and the right atrium. Okay. Now for the ventricles, you have down here, right in here, that is going to be your left ventricle, and that is the left ventricle. Then here is the right ventricle, and the right ventricle. And now for the intraventricular septum, that is going to be the big layer in between the two ventricles of the heart. And then we have the tricuspid valve, which tri means three, so the tricuspid valve is on the right side of the heart, so this is going to be the tricuspid valve, and this is also going to be the tricuspid valve. And it's these flap-like things right here. They're plasti, plasticky on here, but they're the valves. And then we have the bicuspid valves, which are the on the left side. So here's part of the bicuspid valve, but it's easier to see on the side because here are the actual valves. If these two were to get like pushed up, they would create the wall. So here is the valves right here. And now we have chordae tendinae, which are the string-like things coming off of them. And it's easiest to see, I think, on here, because these are the chordae tendinae. And also right here, you have a very good one that's still attached to everything. Here's the chordae tendinae. And then those are attached to muscles, which are called papillary muscles. And it's easiest to see right here, because this chordae tendinae is linked right to this papillary muscle right there. Are there any um, chordae tendinae on the right Yes, side? there are, but you can't really see them. Here's where they would be. These are the chordae tendinae, but they got cut off, okay. so they're very hard to see on here. And the papillary muscles are also right here, yes. too? Yes. Yeah, they are all going to be, because these are still attached to so the papillary muscles, are all going to be right here. Because of the plasticky, it's kind of hard to see the that separated from the myocardium, so don't think that this is like myocardium. You know, this right here is yeah. the myocardium. So those are easy to confuse, especially in this heart, because it's plasticky, and it's hard to see. Okay. After that, we have the aortic semilunar valve, Wait. which... 
Oh, yeah, yes. Is yes. Here is the aorta, so that's a good place to orient yourself on this heart. And remember that the, the aorta is attached to the left ventricle. Yes, it is. So here so is So that's the, how, again, you can orient yourself. True. Here is the aortic semilunar valves right here. Right there, you see the little valvey things, and the aortic semilunar valve is right there as well. Wait. Then, we, yeah. then we're going to put it back together. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> now we have to find the superior vena cava, which, if I find it, the superior vena cava is right here. Superior vena cava? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be right here. Put your little sticky inside. This is the superior vena cava. They cut off the inferior one, so you cannot see that, but this is the superior vena cava. That's okay, because we don't need to know the inferior vena cava. And then for the pulmonary trunk, the pulmonary trunk is going to come off right here. It's always the bigger one that's connected kind of with the aorta. See, if you look on the plastic cart, you have the aorta and then the pulmonary trunk, so it's a good comparison as to that as there is on here, the aorta, and then here is the pulmonary trunk. Then the right and left pulmonary arteries, this branches, the pulmonary trunk branches into two arteries right here, and these are going to be the right and left pulmonary arteries, and that is going to go out of the heart to the lungs. And then you have the aorta, which I already pointed out, and that is the aorta. That whole big thing. Yes. Okay. All right.